I need to make battery clips to connect two batteries together to charge them on the solar panel. So I picked up this kit. Electrical clip assortment, 28 pieces, item 67589. So I kind of want to keep them organized, so I just cut off the side. Hopefully I can reach in and get what I need. The easy thing to do would be to use these clips and make two. That takes up too much area if I want to do more than two batteries together, say. So I think I'm going to use these. As much stuff as I'm using out of this, I'm probably better off just go ahead and take it out, but I'll leave it in for now. Out of this pack, I can make two of the clips. And they're different clips. These are probably not intended to make jumper cables but that's what I'm going to use them for. They'll work for that, but I know that because these are different types. So I'll have to put this down on the wire, solder something onto it, and then work that back on. That's a little awkward. So what size wire to use? Well, a general rule of thumb is thicker wire is better. So I just happen to have this piece of scrap wire and I thought I'd use it. Okay, so how long a wire do I need in this? I can go further in there, but I only want to go about that far. Um, I think I'm actually going to go with that. So I'll hold it like that and bend these over. That's going to be my mechanical hold. Ooh, got that way far up in there. So that's about what I want. So how long do I want it? I think that far will go battery to battery easily. So we'll go with this. So here's my Harbor Freight wire cutters. I actually like these a lot. I especially like that they have that, so they take up less room in a toolbox. But, simply find the gauge that you have. This is 12 gauge wire. That's about how far I want. Twist and pull. A good pair of wire strippers make it jobs a lot easier. So I need to put a black on this, another black, and do the same thing. And there's a lot of different ways you could do this. This is how I usually do it and it usually works pretty well for me. So until I find a better way, this is what I'm going to do. So there we go. Let's make another one and make a red set. I'm sure they make a specialized crimper for that. And I'm sure I'm never going to buy it. Okay, now that I've got these. Okay, so I can make a set of these. So we get to use the wire strippers some more. I actually use these more than I use my Klein strippers. I like them a little better. They have a longer handle. So I want to do the same thing. I want to get a good mechanical connection to back up the electrical connection. But I'll solder it anyway. This is a crappy end is why I'm using it with these. See how fast we can heat this up. There we go. Let that cool for a second. So there I've got two jumpers. I've got four wires, but I need two for each one, so I've only got two jumpers. Well, what I can do is clip it on something to hold it, and that's how you get it on easy. I'm 
There, there's one. And these are just kind of shields. They kind of cover where you solder it and they give you something insulated to grab a hold of. But in reality, there's not much protection there because all of this is exposed. These here, if I had a choice, this is the type I would use. I like those the best. And this cost about $250. I think they're $350 normally. I got it for $250 on sale. And I'll probably go pick up a couple of more packs of them next time they're on sale. I have a main battery with the solar panel and I want to clip two more onto it. So I'll just use these as jumpers to get to the other two. I wore them in parallel so that I get 12 volts more amperage. So here we go, Elect electrical clip assortment, 28 pieces. It's hard to find this type of part other than ordering through the mail or from China. So picking this up for 250 at Harbor Freight I thought was pretty convenient. So if you like the videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.